to Let's Solve Free Code Camp. Today we're going to do intermediate algor algorithm scripting, uh, difference between two arrays. So it says, compare two arrays and return a new array with any items only found in one of the two given arrays, but not in both. In other words, return the symmetric difference of the two arrays. So, and it doesn't matter what order we return them in. So, the first step to this one, and I'm figuring this out as I go, is we're going to take array number one and for uh, any, is that it? Mm. Yeah, let's check on that JavaScript function. JavaScript array any, something like that, sum sum javascript.sum and uh, we want to get the value and we're going to do a nice little arrow function there just to make it easier and um, we're going to say for sum um, we need more for each for each um, it goes through each one and applies an operation to that element um, So then we're going to say r two dot index of value bar non matches. This is where we're going to put our our oh we actually already have one called new array, so we don't need that. So if um if the second array doesn't contain uh, so one. So what this says is if the second array doesn't contain that value because this index of function returns negative one if the value is not in the array, then we're going to push it to our new array. So new array dot push value and value pushes it to the end of the array, but uh, since it doesn't matter what order we return them in, that's perfectly fine. So then we're just going to copy this, and then we're going to say array two dot for each and array one. So now we're just going to iterate through the second array, the whole thing there, and we're going to check if uh, that item is in array one. And then we're just going to return our new array, and we're also going to console log it first just so we can check what happens because there's probably some errors in here. All right, so it returns an array, but it's not working in any capacity. So let's make sure I got that index of function right. Array index of, yeah. So we're here, we got the index of, it returns the negative one. Yeah, otherwise negative one. Okay. Um, so what returns are we getting? Okay, first one. So new array. And we're gonna run our tests again. Let's get some more updated results. Um these are all new array. Hmm. Uh, let's see our old arrays. R1, R2, oops. Old arrays. Oops. So we've got our old arrays coming in. And I'm, I'm going to put these in all caps just because I'm having trouble reading this. So I'm going to put new array here. We'll run those tests again. So old array. 
Oh. I see what the problem is. We were only pushing elements that were in both arrays. So instead of returning... So what we were saying before with the um, negative 1 was we're saying if it's not equal to negative 1, so if it is in array 2, then we push it to our new array. But what we want is if it's not in array 2. So we're going to change it to that, and let's try running it again. And there we go. It's a simple coding error fixed, and we're right on our way along to the next challenge. So I'm going to cut the video here, and we'll be back next time. Thanks for watching.